Here's a Ward's Airline model 1214A from 1961. All I've done to this set is clean it up a bit. You can see that it's got a fair bit of yellowing. It was originally white, as it still is on the bottom, but the uh, other surfaces are all pretty yellowed. I believe this set was made by Sylvania, just based on the uh, guts of this set as well as the design, but I'm not 100% sure of that. The set is still working on uh, all its original parts. It's not a spectacular performer, especially considering it's an 8 transistor set, but it does work fairly well. <coughs> Some Sinatra for you guys. Hello, this is Angelo Zuccolo. We'll be right back with more of the Don Giovanni Show. Guess that's their main sponsor. That ad seems to play all the time during the uh, Don Giovanni show. I'm recording this video in the morning, so all the distant stations are starting to fade out now. the residuals of high ticket athletics and where things get handled and the cracks are shown in the system. This set suffers from the uh, same design issue as the original uh, Zenith Royal 500B in that uh, it's got a small tuning knob and no gear reduction tuning. If they had made it either the knob bigger or added gear reduction uh, tuning would be a lot easier, and turning on the power switch is a little tough too, since it uses a you know full-size tube radio style volume control, which takes a you know fair bit of force to switch on and off. Aesthetics-wise, this is a fairly interesting set, I'd say. And it was made in the USA. You can see that emblazoned there. Or rather, molded into the uh, plastic casing. So I'm going to take the uh, battery cover off now. set of directions there. Just lift this out. Oh, I gotta do it two-handed. Come on. There we go. I don't want to rip it, you know. It's already kind of partially torn. Or not torn, but you can see it's... You can't see. It's starting to get thin there. This used to be glued on, but it's come loose. No corrosion, though. 
On the side there you can see the uh, you know, model number label. They use screws as the, the other set of contacts. The chassis on this set was really not designed to be worked on. It's attached to the uh, case with those little metal clip things under plastic posts. If I tried to remove them, I'd probably break the posts. So thankfully it still works on its original parts. And I'm not really planning on uh, listening to this thing a lot. I've cleaned it up and it's probably just going to go onto the shelf. Kind of doubtful it was originally like that. It's kind of globby mess. It's that um, plastic quote solder stuff. I forget what it's called. It looks like solder, but it's uh, it's just a plastic compound. I heard a story about some guy who found a a kit that was neatly assembled but didn't work at all, and it turned out that uh, all the connections were made with that crap. So since it's non-conductive, it of course didn't work. Well, thanks for watching.